Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. This is Comedic Median Prophetess, and I am back with another video. Um, I know some of you are probably like, what the hell is she doing? She's usually in the dark, right? <laughs> um, I'm back with another video. Um, for those of you who don't know, I also can read tarot cards. Um, I had a tarot reading, I mean, excuse me, tarot reading. I had a, ch a tarot channel at one point, but um, I had took it down for, um, what's the word, like godly purposes, so to speak. Uh, God had told me to take it down because uh, I... Uh, I was getting a lot of gang stalking, a lot of harassment going on, and which was actually a good thing. Uh, even though I got gang stalking and harassment, it was actually a good thing because uh, I was able to kind of like focus on myself, focus on what God wants me to do. And remember, if you read my description box, um, it, I kind of explained to you that uh, this channel is just basically to... Uh, go with the flow, uh, go what God tells me to do. So yeah, basically. Um, I'm also a tarot reader. Um, if you don't know, read my description box. I'm also a medium. So I'm able to pick up on people that's crossed over. Um, I also have a very high connection with uh, deceased celebrities. Um, so if there is a specific celebrity that you would like to know about, I am able to connect with them. Um, for those of you who do not know, whether you believe me or not, but excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied. I always get tongue tied. Whether you believe me a lot or not, ugh, whether <laughs> you believe me or not, um, I have a very spiritually high ranking on the other side as well in the, as in the um the earthly realm. So I'm spiritually high ranked in the earthly realm, earthly realm as well as in the spiritual realm. So um, anyhow. I'm just kind of lighting some sage here. So, uh, hope you guys can get that. So, um, anyhow, I'm just kind of gonna do a tarot reading. Um, I don't do tarot readings necessarily based off like the meanings or anything. I'm a prophetic reader. So I just like look at the cards and spirit just kind of tells me what they want me to know. And, um, I also don't do readings. You know how like, um, some YouTubers, they, um, uh, give me one second. Excuse me, you guys. I had to hold my breath. I didn't want to, like, burp or anything on camera. <laughs> but I'm always, like, usually if I record a video, I'm either, like, drinking cranberry juice, water, or a Coke. That's, like, cherry Coke in Pacific. So, anyways, <laughs> that's random. But, uh, anyways, you guys, um, like I said, I'm a prophetic reader. I read cards based off energy. And I don't read cards based off a, um, oh, yeah, that was, that, that's what I was saying. You know how like um, some tarot readers, they like do like all the signs and order and this, that, and the third. I'm not going to stress myself out. Okay. Look, I'm not going to go Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or what's that song by, by Beyonce? What'd she say? Um, Y'all know that song is Signs. Um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Oh. Yeah, I'm not finna go in order. I'm not finna go in order or do signs. I'm not finna do none of that. God might tell me to do Libra. God might tell me to do Sagittarius. God might tell me to do Capricorn. God might tell me to not to not do no sign. God says I might just need to get on here and speak. God says I might just need to do a specific sign. So if you're one of them people that's waiting on your next reading or your this or your that or waiting on the next message, look, this my channel not for you because I'm just going to go with the flow. You feel me? Anyhow, I'm just talking and lighting this sage. And I got another video coming after this. And I'm, I guess I'll reveal that when that video uploads. But anyhow, get some of that. I'm just going to pull these cards and we're going to see what's going to come out. Because I don't know what's going to come out. But we're going to see what's going to come out. And I'm sitting on my bed. So, hey, y'all. So, anyhow. Let's see what's going to come out. 
So you want me to inhale some more sage? I be inhaling sage. And I don't be, and me and low key, look, I ain't no weed smoker because like weed make me paranoid so I don't smoke. But when I inhale this stuff, it's be like, I don't get high or anything like that, but it be like taking me to another dimension, like galactic alien <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know where it be taking me, but I be in another zone. You feel me, y'all? All right. So anyways, yeah. Again, before I forget, for those of you who don't know, I am kinetic medium prophetess. And when I say kinetic because I feel deep in my heart and my soul that my ancestral roots, my Akashic records are tied to Kemet. And if those of you who do know not who do not know what Kemet are, go redo go do your research. And no, I'm not telling my business, and no, I'm not telling on myself because I'm protected. So anyhow, and I'm a medium because I'm a medium. Anyhow, here we go, here we go. Let's see what the cards. And I might say a sign is connected to these cards. I might whatever the third, whatever, whatever I do, whatever I say. Here we go, spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ooh. Man, the day has been like so freaking stressful, man. You know, it's sad. Like, people would do everything in their power to try to hold you back just so they can use you, just so they can pull your energy, just so they can harvest and manifest off of you. <laughs> but see, they don't know. See, some people, you don't know who's spiritually high ranked. You don't know who's chosen by God. You don't know who people are and you playing in their energy i feel sorry for you you digging your own grave it's crazy because uh i had a dream last night that i was digging a grave full of jewelry it wasn't a dead body in there or nothing so i'm still trying to kind of figure out what the hell that dream meant um for some of you who watch my channel you know i have a lot of downloads i have a lot of dreams that i share with you guys but uh anyhow let me get back to this holy spirit holy angels and I hope you guys can see me really well. well. You should be able to see me. Yeah, you guys can see me. Yeah. I'm recording in my bed. So. And I got a Scorpio reading that I'm debating. I'm debating to uh put that Scorpio reading out. I, I had did a Scorpio reading that I haven't posted or uploaded yet. But to sum that up, it's about um a mother figure who had a son that committed suicide. And her son was actually in the closet. He was um of the LGBT community. So... If you guys would like me to post that, please let me know. Put it in the comment section. But um, anyways, one second. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's up, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? What y'all got for me? Because I know y'all got something. Tell me what's going on with the collective. Tell me what's going on with everybody right now. What's going on in the universe? What's going on in the world, spirit? Tell me. What's going on? Holy spirit, holy angel. I know you got something for you, girl. Come on. Let's see. Spirit says shuffle three more times. One. What's up? Two. What's up? And three. I'm hearing that some of you could be dealing with like a high school sweetheart. Maybe a past life karmic or a past life soulmate. I'm hearing that for somebody. <clears throat> Excuse me if I cough. I'm sorry. I'm hearing like first dance or last dance. So maybe you could have went to prom with this person like back in the day. This person used to probably make you extremely happy with the sun card. This person probably made you very happy. But I feel like this person is very childish. They're a page with the page of swords. This person is like very, very childish. They don't want to grow. I feel like at one point, I don't know why I keep hearing high school sweetheart. 
I feel like at one point you guys were in love like back in the day when you guys were teenagers. But I feel like I'm here like 30s to 40s, maybe even 50s. You've changed, you've grown, but this person is still in a page energy. And I feel like the, with the page of swords, this person is very conniving, very manipulative, very, very controlling. They want to take over your life. They want to control you. They always backstab you. They always play games. I'm hearing this person with this page of swords. I'm also hearing that this person could have maybe had other children or if they didn't have other children behind your back, you guys may have a child together and you may have found out that this child wasn't yours. Yeah, this person is going through a tower moment or you could be going through a tower moment because of what this person is did, has did, excuse me, this, excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied. I always get tongue tied, you guys. I don't know why. But I feel like this person may have embarrassed you in front of the community um, because you were you have found out that the child that you have fathered or mothered, well, I, I guess you can't say mother. Oh, comedic. That's very illiterate of you to say that. Uh, if a mother has a baby, then it's her baby, sweetheart. I'm talking to myself. But... <laughs> But anyways, you could have found out that this child, this is specifically for a man. You could have found out that the child that you had with this karmic person, a karmic partner wasn't yours. I feel like you're in an um, earth angel energy. I feel like you're wanting to change. You're wanting to manifest. You're wanting to grow. You don't want to be conniving, conniving anymore. You don't want to be evil. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me some more messages for the collective. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with the collective spirit? Hmm. I'm seeing that some of you may have just got your car fixed or you, you need a tune-up. I'm hearing tune-up for some reason. You may have just got your car fixed or you need something done to your car. Your car stopped working or you've lost transportation. I'm hearing that a car may have been repossessed. So maybe your karmic partner or the person that you're with has been spending money like overly, like spending way too much money. They don't know how to balance money. I feel like you may work really hard and give this karmic money. I'm seeing like a bankroll. So you might hand this karmic a bankroll of money and they don't know how to spend it. They don't know how to manage it. They take it and they get their hair, their nails, their toes done or for a man they get their hair cut they get clothes they get shoes but they don't take care of the home i feel like the home may be nasty the home may be dirty Ooh, see all these cars flew out look at that <laughs> dang there must be a lot going on i wasn't gonna read this but spirit just told me in my head to read this you could be going through judgment or they're going through judgment for the bullshit that they did i feel like you want to offer your cup to a divine feminine or a divine masculine your true counterpart i feel like you're about to go and go to prison for some bullshit that your karmic partner may have caught you up in or you guys may have done together or they did behind your back or you are in a mental prison in your head. I feel like you're praying to God, contemplating and trying to hold on to your finances, hold on to your money. You don't want to grow. You don't want to change. I mean, remember you guys, I am a prophetic reader. You, What is, wait a minute, hold on. I'm seeing that, okay, this could be for a specific person. With this Knight of Swords and this um, ten, of, ten of Coins, which will probably be like the Ten of, ten of Pentacles and a, a regular deck, but this is like the, uh, well, I'm not going to get into what the name of this deck is, but some of you guys may know, those of you that are uh, tarot readers. Um, I feel like a lot of you say you want to move forward, but you're not really like trying that hard or something like that. You want to have the Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me, you guys. My phone like fell over. I'm sorry, you guys. But you guys, I feel like some of you are contemplating about moving forward. You want to move forward, but you're not sure if you're going to. You're not sure if um, things are going to work out with the person that you want to go to. You're not sure if this person is single, married, or in a relationship. You're just not sure. And you're afraid to take that leap of faith. You're afraid to give up your old lifestyle. You're afraid to... Do what you need to do to uh, manifest abundance, to change, to grow, to to evolve, I guess, so to speak. Spirit told me to leave these cards alone. Let's see what else. Oh, Lord, my like leg is like, freaking aching right now. Ugh. Spirit told me to leave these cards alone. Wait, is this the deck you want me to take, Spirit? We'll see. If you don't want me to touch it, then I'm going to have to put it down. 
And then, you know, you guys, I stop whenever spirit tells me to stop talking. Because I mean, I can be a... I'm hearing that song in my head. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died... <laughs> For those of you who do not know what a rolling stone is, a rolling stone is a man who has children by multiple women in different states and different towns and different countries and he runs off and he never stays he finesses you he tells you he loves you he tells you this he tells you that so this may could be for some of you divine feminines or this could be for like the actual masculine that i'm talking to specifically you may have children all over the world all over the house and shit and you're going through karma so <laughs> That could be for somebody. And for those of you who do not know who sing that song, that song is about the temptations. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died. Yeah, and so for see, see, let me tell you something about the old generation and the new generation. See, back in the day, if you was a rolling stone, you couldn't show your face in the community. You know why? Because it's going to be a motherfucking shotgun wedding. Because see, back in the day if you got a woman pregnant back in the day and you knew you didn't like her like that or you did like her like that and you loved her and you got her pregnant and you got scared whether you liked her or not and you ran off on her guess what her daddy was gonna come see you see that's why we need black fathers that's not even just black fathers that's why we need absent the, the absent fathers that's why we need we need fathers in a home and see a lot of people be like oh well, a black male or a male, they need a father. No, girls need daddies. It's so many broken girls, uh, uh, black, white, Hispanic, whatever. It's so many broken girls in the world because they didn't have a daddy. Because they didn't have no man to protect them from the wolves, the rolling stones. They didn't have no man to protect them to say, hey, you know what? Not my motherfucking daughter. They didn't have no man to make a shotgun wedding. See, if you got somebody pregnant back in the day, your daddy was going to come see about you. He was going to say, look at here, young man. You didn't got my daughter pregnant. And I know she didn't get pregnant on her own. So if you ain't going to marry my daughter, guess what? It's going to be a motherfucking shotgun wedding. And I wish they bring bring it back to a motherfucking shotgun wedding. Because I'm sick of these motherfuckers out there making motherfucking babies with women and then don't want to be responsible. See, back in the day, you couldn't show your face. If you was a rolling stone and you had babies, Babies all over the goddamn world, you better leave town. See, back in the day, they had to take trains, they had to take buses, they had to get on foot, foot, they had to tie a bag of clothes around a stick and put it on their back and keep on going. But get that shit together. I'm sick of you niggas, and that's another motherfucking video. Anything else, spirit? Anything else you want me to say? I'm so sick of you motherfuckers making motherfucking babies and not motherfucking taking care of them. And hey, this is my goddamn channel. If you don't like my goddamn YouTube channel, then don't motherfucking watch me. Shit, I'll just keep it real. And I can read cards. I can read energy. Matter of fact, I don't even need these motherfucking cards. If you listen to my other videos, you know that. Shit. I feel like there's a karmic partner that's freaking contemplating, trying to figure out what they're going to do to keep their marriage or keep their relationship evolved. And Spirit wants me to let you know whoever this karmic partner is, let that shit go. That nigga don't want you. He don't want nobody. He don't want nobody or himself. Or that female don't want you. She don't want nobody. She don't, know, she don't want nobody but herself. They haven't grown. They haven't changed. They haven't evolved. They ain't going to never change. And if they do ever change, it's going to be when they old and gray. So let it go. I'm hearing that song by Keisha Cole and Missy Ellie and, and uh, Lil' Kim. If he ain't gonna love you the way you should, then let him go. If he ain't gonna, if he ain't gonna treat you the way you should, then let it go. And I feel like I'm hearing a divine feminine in Pacific who has moved on, who don't give a fuck, who manifesting, who 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 working on themselves, who don't even give a fuck about the situation. I'm seeing somebody do black magic, moon magic. I'm even seeing like candle fucking magic. You yeah, man, come on, man, get your shit together. Yeah, and this motherfucking masculine is still being fucking deceiving, karmic, and full of bullshit and, and full of betrayal. And I'm seeing a car wreck or a motherfucking train. I'm seeing a train wreck, a car wreck, 
and somebody like fucking committing suicide. So this masculine or something cause is about to be exposed for like homosexuality or something that was fucking done in the closet or I don't fucking know. But all I'm seeing is somebody is finna have a death because they keep playing with spell work. I'm seeing that I'm not not only is this masculine doing spell work on a specific divine feminine, this masculine is doing spell work over karmic partners, over friends, over family. This motherfucker is sick, crazy, and need to heal and probably in God, I mean, I'm sorry to say this. So if I offend anybody, God is finna motherfucking call judgment and God's finna motherfucking make this this person is finna die. I mean, not even a spiritual death. I'm talking about this person is, I'm hearing that this person is already in spiritual jail, but he finna be in physical jail, literally on the earthly realm, and he about to be from the fucking dead in the physical realm. So that's for somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to. Anything else, spirit? I'm so sick of you motherfuckers. Always doing shit. Damn, my damn leg hurts. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry if my phone flipped over. I apologize. Y'all probably see my Tupac poster. And speaking of Tupac, let me tell you something. That was a real motherfucking emperor. And if y'all don't know who Tupac is, you should by now. Because that motherfucker is a world-renowned star in his death. He was a real-renowned star when he was alive. But now he is really a world-renowned star. But anyways, that motherfucker was a true emperor. That motherfucker is what you call a boss player. And I got a video for what, for boss players. You motherfuckers out here who think you boss players because you got women and shit. Motherfucker, you don't even fuck grade A hoes. You fuck rats. You fuck, you fuck motherfucking cum buckets. That motherfucking right there, that's what you call an emperor. That motherfucker fucked grade A hoes. Tupac Shakur, he fucked grade A hoes and all his hoes knew about each other. Just like that. Catch that on fleek. Fuck you mean. Spirit is telling me to get the fuck out of here because I, I, I'm going to go off and I'm going to get mad and I don't know what the fuck to do because my mouth is motherfucking deadly. Then motherfuckers get offended. Then motherfuckers get intimidated. And I just don't know what to do but to speak my mind. So here we go. Well, is there anything else, Spirit? Because I got, see, I don't, I don't need these motherfucking cards. That's all I'm going to say. I don't need these cards. I don't need none of this shit. I'm just sick of you hoe-ass niggas and you hoe-ass bitches fucking up single people life. I'm sick of you hoe-ass niggas and you hoe-ass bitches, bitches putting babies and making babies and having babies and fucking up people life. You can go to motherfucking hell and you motherfuckers is probably going to be left the motherfucking behind. And I'm not motherfucking God and I don't know who the fuck going to be left behind. But I guarantee you some of you motherfuckers is going to be left behind. You motherfuckers going to be right here on motherfucking earth burning with the motherfucking demons and serpents and shit because you won't do people right you evil you nasty you conniving and you a motherfucking snake and you just des you deserve to, to burn you better get your life right i'm hearing the chapter in ephesians you better read the book of ephesians you better get your motherfucking life right you better read the read the book of revelations you hoe ass niggas and you hoe ass bitches and then motherfuckers neighbors and shit and the people motherfuckers think people is crazy i'm spiritually high ranked i'm chosen by god and i'm working on my motherfucking youtube channel Channel. so forgive me youtube i have neighbors that are nosy as fuck and they try to say i'm crazy and shit now i ain't never talked to these motherfuckers personally but i mean they just into what the fuck i be doing they don't know i'm chosen by god they don't know i'm spiritually high ranked and they don't know that uh uh i, I can just say one word and word and karma gone gone motherfucking rain for they ass I, I mean one day i i woke up and there was some fucking groceries sitting on my goddamn porch and i didn't even order fucking groceries i you know i do online delivery for my groceries and shit, you know YouTube, but I ain't even fucking order motherfucking groceries. It was they actually they accidentally sent me somebody else's groceries. I knocked on their door and I gave it to them, but they can't even be appreciative for it. You know what I'm saying? They got to listen to my conversations and shit and try to get in my motherfucking business. You feel what I'm saying? The whole motherfucking com community stocking a chosen one. Nigga, I know I'm motherfucking chosen. Shit, fuck you mean. And if you don't like my cussing, don't watch my motherfucking channel. Fuck you mean. Shit. And I got, yeah, I got multiple personalities. And just and just because a bitch got multiple personalities don't mean she crazy. Motherfucker, that mean I, I can I can I can go here, I can go there, and I can fit in. Use your motherfucking discernment. 
Motherfuckers want to talk about you and laugh at you and call you crazy, call you a witch, witch, this, that, and the third. But motherfucker, you don't know you live next to me. You live next to me because I'm your motherfucking blessing, oh, ho-ass people, oh, ho-ass. And then motherfuckers always want to think they better than black people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a racist. And for those of you who've been watching my damn videos, my channel messages in the dark, I do have a video for racism. Anything else here? Because I done got off track. I done got pissed off. I done got mad. Because I'm sick of motherfuckers always fucking listening to me and don't know that I didn't want to help you. You motherfuckers was in there. My motherfucking neighbors, let me tell y'all, YouTube, my motherfucking neighbors was in there homesy. God used me a chosen vessel to help them get some food. Motherfucking Walmart.com had delivered me some food that I ain't even fucking order. I knocked on NATO and gave it to them. And then they tried to be sneaky and shit and say, oh, well, we don't really need the food. We're going to throw it in the dumpster. I looked out the window and all that shit, they was putting it in their car. Didn't want me to know that they needed help because they because you're not a person of color, because you're not black. You're embarrassed that you need some help. It ain't about motherfucking color. I don't care if you white. I don't care if you black. I don't care if you blue. I don't care if you gray. I don't care what, fuck what you are. We all bleed the motherfucking same. Shit, we all all our roots come from Africa you may be a white person you may be a, a Hispanic person I don't care who the fuck you is but guess what your pancreas might run because your great 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 grandmama come from sub-saharan Africa and spirit told me to end it and for all I'm finna get off of here but for you twin flames and you divine masculine and you motherfucking karmic partners stop doing motherfucking spell work because half these motherfucking divine feminists don't even give a fuck no more it's 2022 and you motherfuckers are rolling Rolling stones and prostitutes for you karmics and hoes and motherfucking cum buckets. And I'm done. Goodbye.